What's up, it's Trey Nine. About to go into the WIN unit and do some house church training, organic church training. And uh, we had we had a, a certification day for those who want to volunteer to go into prisons often. And so um, a, a few rappers came, Big Nate, uh, my boy here, Bizzle. What up with it? God over Sai. Like they just had their training for uh, the prison. You looking forward to going into prisons or what? Yes, I think I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> what do you think about the training? Nah, it's dope, man. It's um, a lot of things were expected, a lot of unexpected <laughs> things go on. Um, it's dope to see that so many of them are willing to accept the gospel and just they want it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We go out through the world and we try to push the gospel and people don't want to hear it. They ain't got time. And then you come here where they think these people are animals, but these people were after Jesus harder than the cats that are free right That's now. Right. So, um, man, praise God for them. Yeah, the attitude and the environment, you know, when we went in, it, it struck me that, you know, the prisoners was reaching out. They was looking for you to make eye contact just to say what's up to you. So everything Bizzle said is right there on point, man. Well, we're going to go in now, and this will be Biz's first time, size done it when he was younger and a few times uh, older. But um, we're going to go in and teach. We're not going into rap. And so uh, we will see what the take is when we get out. Um, but this is uh, the Wind State unit. And it is a pretty big prison. We're going to the trustee camp, which is right over here. And um, I was going to I was going to mention something else about this unit. Oh, in the training, do y'all remember the lady saying about rap music? Remember oh, what she yeah. said? Tell them what she said about the rap music. She was just talking about the, the influence that, and she, matter of fact, she was talking about the women who want to do fresh out of jail, like like it's a good thing, but they don't really know how serious it is and how, how real it is up in there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like she's, And she confirmed that a lot of the stories are true. <laughs> so um, it's definitely nothing to be glorified, even though in hip hop we like to glorify jail. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a way to get stripes. When um, really cats in jail are just trying to get outside to be like you, but you're trying to be like them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's backwards. So we going in there and you know, we're going to have a good time, give those guys some entertainment. You know, they're sitting up there looking at four walls all the time. So it'll be good for us to go in there and share our talents. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, they're up in there freestyling with each other, sharing their talents with each other. And they got their own little levels and ranks. So we're going up in there, you know, and just letting them know about Christ with the same gift, you know, uh, of what they're trying to pursue. So, we are. Right, so, so Sai, now that you had experience of just sitting in a group with, you know, 20 five men um what, what what did you feel about it man um just just the hearts and the the different personalities of the men there you could see you could see it in their eyes you know what i'm saying that they really need somebody to come there and minister to them and just fellowship with them you know um you know i could i could just see it in their eyes the 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 situation of them, you know, just being behind closed doors, being confined, you know, you can see the confinement on their face, the imprisonment, the imprisonment on their face. So it's good that we were there to minister to them, to fellowship with them, just be friends with them. And it, it really touched my heart in a major way, you know what I'm saying? Bizzle. Not only to be there. Bizzle, your, re up, your recap of your first experience like that. Um, it was dope, man. Um, it felt like, it honestly felt like brotherhood, man. It's, it's, it's so crazy how much people, how much they hunger for the gospel, how much they, they have that hunger for Jesus. But the people who are free, I guess they're free to just to be distracted all day outside in the free world. How much they have an opportunity to, to gather with brothers the same way those brothers did and they don't take it and they walk by it and they take it very lightly. Um, so that hunger, man, from people who, from people who the world would judge, <laughs> um, their hunger for Christ uh, surpasses a lot of what I see in the world, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. people have the opportunity to, to gather like that every Sunday and skip it, pass it, they, they play it off. Every single thing in their life is more important, and then you, you come over here to these to this prison 
And these guys can't wait for you to get there to talk about Jesus, to have somebody to, to glorify Jesus with, man. So um, it was definitely eye-opening. Um, you would never think from what from what you see on TV, you would never think that there were brothers in there who were serious about the Lord. And of course, they have to go back in amongst that environment. And I know it's hard for them, man, but it definitely encourages you to keep them up, keep lift them up in prayer, man, because they're really going in there. As soon as they leave us, they're back in as, as uh, sheep amongst wolves. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and most of the time, like, when's the last? If you're watching this now, when's the last time you prayed for our brothers in prison? Because they're there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it de it's definitely an eye opener, man. And I'm, I loved it, man. I'm about to be back, you know, whenever we can. And uh, to, to sum it all up, prison ministry, jail ministry is well worth the investment. Don't look at the news so much to where you're afraid to go in there. I promise you, it will change your life if you go in there and invest into those men or those women in the prison, the female prisons. Uh, it's well worth it. They will get out one day. Why not be spiritual soldiers for God's kingdom, already trained and ready to go into warfare, than to be physically tearing down society, communities, we might as well go in there and get them ready for the free world, and uh, that's what it's about. So, signing off, Bizzle, Sai, Trey Don, we out.